This is Matt from the Dice of the Round Table, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you appreciate it. But what we're going to be talking about is list building suggestions and tactics for bold action today. So what I want to talk about, I was having this conversation with a friend recently who's new to tabletop gaming, and we were talking about list. And it's one of those things like I think I I don't know as much as some people, and I'm not a tournament guru. However, I've played enough games that I feel this is a safe suggestion I would do. And every time I'm building a list, this could be a local thing, this could be a me thing. But one of the things I like to consider is, one, I build generic lists. I have not played with theater lists. It's only discussing generic list building. So, you got to bring your lieutenant. No problem. You got to bring two squads. No problem. Try to make it four squads. One, two, three, four. Four infantry squads, if you can. If you got to take two models out of the maximum so you get the four squad, play around with your points. Four squads is golden, I feel. It gives you some tactical flexibility, push, shove. You can have a squad in reserve and move around. But we'll get back to that, if not this video, another one. So... I have my lieutenant, I got my four infantry squads. I'm going to say these two things. The more you play, you may not want them because of the streakiness of dice. Sniper teams. Sniper teams are vital because almost everyone takes them. And in order to help protect yourself or delay the opponent's sniper from taking advantage of you or denying fields of fire or table zones, bring your own sniper, first round, maybe even the first dice, counter snipe, snipe each other. The first person to eliminate the sniper, you get to have some freedom to get, take your shots. And you don't have to worry about, oh, is that sniper going to take out my lieutenant? Is he going to take out my spotter? Is he going to take out my forward observer? Is he, is he, is he going to take out something I don't want him to take out? But a sniper is not a guaranteed hit. It's 50-50. Some people, you will hear stories, get streaky on sniper rolls. My sniper never hits. My sniper always hits. My sniper hits this game, but not next game. So they're streaky. But I almost feel like for 60-some points or whatever it is, it's great insurance to counter someone else's sniper. And if someone doesn't bring a sniper... Awesome, you have special weapons in each of your squads, I'm plucking your squads, I'm plucking your NCO, we're going to give you a minus one morale check on all your checks. The other thing that's very streaky, mortars. Mortars, mortars, mortars. Medium mortars. Heavy mortar, it's a bigger investment. The 20 points can go into giving you one or two extra guys in a squad. Or... Uh, shaving points there with something else might be able to bring another order dice. A medium order. Veterans are your choice. I technically do regulars, but always, always pay for the 10 points for a spotter. You can hide your mortar and take shots on the enemy. Sometimes I've gone into mortar duels where we're just mortaring each other. The first person to get the hit, the mortar wins the day. But very streaky. If someone gets lots of sixes, oh, my mortar is beautiful. It hits every time on the first try. Sometimes the mortar will never hit. Sometimes the threat of the mortar is all you need to make the other person go, well, do I want to risk it that you now need fives, you need fours, you need threes to hit me? And do I keep my sniper there or do I move the sniper, the machine gun team or something because of the mere threat? Of a mortar. So, Lieutenant, four infantry squads, sniper team, mortar. That is already seven order dice. The rule of thought is every hundred points, you want an order dice. So, if you're playing a thousand point game, you want about ten order dice. If you have less than ten, you got a heavy veteran elite list. If you have more than 10, you're probably got some inexpensive units, such as Russians can take three anti-tank rifles for one slot. 
Americans can take three medium machine gun teams in one slot. So doing some of that stuff, but 10 is the rule you want to go with. So from my input, again, one lieutenant, four infantry squad, sniper, mortar. Build your list from there. Bring a tank if you want. Bring a gun if you want. But those are the things I would recommend starting on your list and then add to it from there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you appreciate it. And I will catch you later.